there are a few common exceptions to the alphabet order of ground state electron filling in some uh, elements. Let's take a look at, at a couple of them. First of all, let's let's look at the electron configuration for chromium. Chromium has an uh, atomic number. Let's find it on the periodic table here. Chromium has an atomic number of 24, so that means it has 24 electrons. Okay, chromium has 24 electrons. So let's uh, write the electron configuration for chromium, and let's use the noble gas shortcut. So argon is a noble gas that comes before chromium. So we'll say argon, and then after argon, this is period one, two, three, four. So we go to the 4s and fill it as we move across, because that gets us up to 20 electrons. And then there's one, two, three, four more electrons and this, we're in the transition, so that's going to be the um, 3d4. So if we were following the alpha ordering, we would expect that the electron configuration for chromium would be argon, 4s2, 3d4. However, experimental evidence shows that that is not the correct electron configuration, but rather the correct electron configuration for argon is 4s1, 3d5. We wouldn't predict this because the 4s is predicted to be of lower energy and the principle states that we should fill from lowest energy to highest energy. However, there's something about having a half full D subshell that causes the electron configuration of the overall atom to be lower when the electron configuration is in this state rather than that state. So having five parallel spins in the D subshell is more stable than having a full S and only four parallel spins in the D. So that's one exception. Another exception is um, copper. And copper's right here. Copper has 29 electrons. And if we do the same thing and do the electron configuration starting with argon and then marching down the fourth period, it would be 4s2 and then 3d and count down the d block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We would predict that the electron configuration for copper should be argon 4s239. But experimental results show that the actual electron configuration is 4s1, 3d10. Again, there's something um, about a full d subshell that creates the overall uh, energy situation for this atom, copper, to be in a lower energy state when the one electron is promoted from the 4s2 up to the 3d10 filling up that D subshell. So this is the correct electron configuration. Other common exceptions are for silver and gold. And I bet you could figure out the electron configurations for silver and gold if I told you that they as well will promote an electron, in this case from the 5s to the 4d, and in this case for gold, from the 6s to the 5d subshell. So common Exceptions to the alpha are chromium, copper, silver, and gold.